kids in this video we will learn to compare which objects is the heaviest today a weight lifting competition is going on in champapur first it is bhola's turn bhola brought a sack filled with cotton he lifted the sack very easily everyone clapped excitedly now next is bunny's turn bunny has brought 20 carrots from his house in a bag bunny definitely had some trouble lifting his bag but in the end he was finally able to lift the bag finally it is sher khan's turn sher khan has brought some bricks in a sack he tried to lift it once but was not successful on trying again sher khan was finally able to lift the sack full of bricks the audience clapped more loudly now the judge of the competition barbole uncle is wondering who should be the winner after all children can you tell which of the three carried the most weight no no problem let us see how uncle is solving this puzzle uncle noticed that the three contestants brought different items in different bags and sacks therefore we cannot compare their weight so what can we do now uncle brought a weighing scale children do you know what a weighing scale is a weighing scale is a device for measuring weight and it is made of two plates we have to put the two things whose weight we want to compare on these plates of the weighing scale the weighing scale will tip towards the side of the plate which has more weight on it uncle first placed bhola's sack on a plate of the scales and placed bunny's bag of carrots on the second plate children can you tell whose item is lighter and whose item is heavier if you want you can stop the video and find the answer well done children you have found the right answer the weighing scale tipped towards bunny's carrot bag that is why bunny's carrot bag is heavier than bhola's bag full of cotton now the competition will be between sher khan and bunny uncle now replaced bhola's sack with the sack filled with sher khan's bricks children can you tell which of these items is heavier your answer is absolutely correct this time the scale tips towards the sack filled with sher khan's bricks so the sack with sher khan's bricks is a lot heavier than bunny's bag filled with carrots children can you tell who will be the winner because the sack filled with sher khan's bricks 
is heavier than bunny's bag filled with carrots and bunny's bag of carrots is heavier than bhola's sack of cotton therefore sher khan's sack filled with bricks is also heavier than bhola's cotton sack in this way sher khan is the winner of this competition finally uncle also found the winner of the competition in this way because sher khan's sack with bricks is the heaviest in weight Sher Khan is the winner of this competition. See, the audience is continuously clapping without stopping, and Sher Khan is dancing happily. Children, in this video, we learn to compare the weights of objects. In the next video, we will learn more about it by some interesting examples. children in the previous video we learned to compare the weights of objects in this video we will learn more about it by some interesting examples bhola golu and sher khan are returning from the school sher khan is walking fast golu is a little behind him and bhola is following them both sher khan asks bhola why is he moving so slowly then bhola told him that his bag is the heaviest so he is moving slowly sher khan said that his bag is the heaviest golu then told them that his bag was the heaviest at that time barbole uncle was passing by he saw all three friends fighting when he asked the reason for their fight he came to know that each one of them felt that his bag was the heaviest uncle told them that there is a way by which he can find out whose bag is really the heaviest uncle brought all three of them to his house uncle has a large weighing balance with him uncle also brought some balls firstly uncle placed sher khan's bag on one plate of the balance now uncle started placing the balls one by one in this way on the second plate uncle kept placing the balls on the scales until both sides of the scales came to the same position the children could not understand anything uncle then explained them that when the two plates of the scales are on the same level it means that the weight of the objects in both the plates is the same When uncle counted those balls he found that there were 13 balls in the plate Do you know what this means It means that the weight of 13 balls equals Sher Khan's bag's weight Now uncle took Sher Khan's bag from the scales and also removed the balls now on one side of the scale uncle kept bhola's bag and on the other side 
started placing the balls one by one. Once again, both the plates reached the same level. But this time, there were 20 balls in the plate. Children, what does it mean? Yes, it means that the weight of 20 balls equals the weight of Bhola's bag. Now, Uncle weighed Golu's bag with the scales. This time, when the plate came to the same level, there were 17 balls in the plate. This means that the weight of 17 balls equals weight of Golu's bag. Children, the number of balls equal to the weight of the bag of three friends is written here. Now, can you tell whose bag weighs the most? If you want, you can pause the video and find the answer. Well done! Your answer is absolutely correct. Highest number of balls is 20 balls and is equal to the weight of Bhola's bag. That's why Bhola's bag is the heaviest. And whose bag is the lightest? Exactly! Sher Khan's bag is the lightest because the number of balls equal to the weight of his bag is 13, which is the smallest number. Children, can you look at these scales and tell which of these two items is heavier? Yes, the water bottle weighs two balls and the tiffin box weighs one ball. So, the weight of the water bottle is more than the weight of the tiffin box. Uncle taught the children to compare the weight of items using weighing balance. Finally, Sher Khan and Golu realized that Bhola's bag was indeed heavier than their bags. Knowing this, Sher Khan and Golu told Bhola that they would carry his bag for some distance and help Bholu to lift the weight of his bag. Children, you must always help your friends too. Children, in this video, we learn to compare the weight of objects with some interesting examples. In the next video, we shall see some misconceptions that students do in the next video. Hello children, in the previous video, we learned to compare the weight of objects with some interesting examples. In this video, we shall learn on the misconceptions related to the concept. Chanda, Bunny and Appu have come to play in the park. Appu has brought a big balloon. Chanda has brought a cricket ball and Bunny brought 10 marbles. All three have come up with a unique way to decide which game to play today. The person whose toy will weigh the most, all three will play that game. Appu immediately said, Look, 
how big my balloon is compared with your toys. It means the weight of my balloon is more than your marbles and cricket ball. Let's play with my balloon. Children, do you find any truth in Appu's statement? In reality, is a large item always the heaviest? Let's see how these three friends have found out the truth in Appu's statement. After listening to Appu, Chanda said, Look, there is a weighing balance at Bhola's vegetable stall. Why don't we measure the weight of our toys with his balance? The trio immediately reached Bhola's vegetable stall. There, Chanda placed her cricket ball in a plate of Bhola's scales. And Appu's balloon on the other plate. Children, can you tell whose toy is heavier? Yes, the plate that contains Chanda's cricket ball has tipped downwards. This means Chanda's cricket ball is heavier than Appu's balloon. This means what Appu said is not right. Children, remember that if any item is big in appearance, it is not necessary that its weight is more than the smaller ones. As soon as Bunny came to know that Chanda's cricket ball is heavier than Appu's balloon, he immediately told Chanda, Even though your balls weigh more than Appu's balloon, I have 10 marbles and you only have one ball. So my 10 marbles will definitely weigh more than your one ball. Children, is Bunny right? Is it necessary that when the weight of two items is being compared, the item which is more in quantity will have more weight? Let's see. Now, Chanda removed Appu's balloon from Bhula's scale and replaced it with Bunny's 10 marbles. Kids, can you tell whose toy is heavier? Yes! The weight of Chanda's one cricket ball is more than Bunny's 10 marbles. This means that Bunny was wrong. Of the two items whose weight is being compared, the item with a larger quantity does not always weigh more. Bunny and Appu agreed that the weight of Chanda's one cricket ball is more than Appu's balloon and Bunny's ten marbles. Finally, the three found out which game they had to play. They took Chanda's cricket ball and Bunny also brought a cricket bat from his house. All three friends played the game of cricket with great pleasure. Children, in this video, we learned about some misconceptions related to comparing weight. Hello kids! Today in this video, we will learn what is a kilogram and why we use kilogram. Chanda and Appu have come to buy vegetables 
at Bunny stall. Chanda bought four apples from Bunny. Bunny had a small pile of stone with him. He first placed four apples of Chanda on one side and then he started placing stones one by one on the other side. He kept stones on the scale till both sides of the scales came to the same level. When he counted the stones placed on the scales, he found that four apples of Chanda were equal to 25 stones. Now Appu also took four apples. Bunny once again placed four apples of Appu on one side of the scale and started placing stones on the other side of the scale. This time, when both the scales came to same level, there were 35 stones on the scale. Appu and Chanda were both shocked as to how could this happen? Both of them bought four apples. Yet, how can the weight of Chanda's apple be equal to 25 stones while Appu's four apples weigh 35 stones? Right then, Bhola was passing by. He saw Appu and Chanda upset and asked them the reason for their trouble. When Chanda and Appu told him the whole story, Bola started laughing. Chanda and Appu could not understand why Bola was laughing. Bola picked up some stones, placed on Bunny's stall and said, See, do you think all these stones are of same weight? Now Chanda and Appu saw the stones. Some of them were small and some of them were very big. Both shook their head and said, No! No! Kids, can we find out the weight of any object with these stones of uneven weight? No. So, what can we do? Bhola also explained this to Chanda and Appu. Then Bunny asked Bhola that if he had to weigh anything, how could he do it? Bhola explained to Bunny that because objects like stones, balls, etc. are not always of the same weight, we cannot use them to measure weight. Therefore, to measure the weight of any object, we use a unit of kilogram. A kilogram is a unit of measuring weight of any object that always remains the same. Bunny said to Bhola, I understand. That kilogram is a unit of weight measurement. But how can we use it to measure the weight of objects? Bhola with Bunny Appu and Chanda reached his shop. There, he showed them weights for search use. Look at this! We can measure the weights of objects in kilos using this kind of weight. This weight is 1 kg. This is 2 kgs and 
This is 5 kgs. Bhola then weighed the four apples of Chanda on the scales of his shop. He placed the apples of Chanda on one side and one kg weight on the other side. Even now, the apples of Chanda are heavier. Now, Bhula placed one kilogram more weight and both the sides of the scales came to the same level. Bhula said that the weight of four apples of Chanda is equal to one plus one that is two kgs. Then he weighed Appu's four apples in exactly the same way and found out that Appu's four apples also weighed two kgs. Seeing this, Bunny understood his mistake. He told Bhola that he too would weigh only by using a kilogram at his stall. He took some weight from Bhola and everyone became happy after learning about kilograms. Kids, in this video, we learned what is a kilogram and why kilogram is used. In the next video, we will see some interesting examples related to this. In the previous video, we learned what is a kilogram and why do we use kilogram. In this video, we will see some interesting examples related to this. Apparently, Appu liked the idea of weights taught by Bhola so much that he bought some weights and scales for his house too. Appu wants to determine the weight of some items in his house. He first put a 1 kg weight on the scale on one side and then he placed the TV remote of his house on the other side. Children, can you guess whether a TV remote weighs less than a kg or more than a kg? Well done kids! Your answer is absolutely correct. The remote weighs less than 1 kg. Kids, here are some items of Appu's house. Can you guess? Which of these items will weigh less than 1 kg? And which will weigh more than 1 kg? If you want, you can pause the video and find the answer. Well done children! You have guessed it perfectly. These items will weigh less than 1 kg. And these items will weigh more than 1 kg. Appu understood that some items weigh more than 1 kg and some less than 1 kg. But he could not understand that if he had to measure the weight of objects less than 1 kg, then how would he be able to do it? Appu took his scales and went to Bhola's shop. Then he asked Bhola this question. Then Bhola told him that if he had to measure 
the weight of objects weighing less than 1 kg he could measure the weight of those items using grams 1 kilogram is equal to 1000 grams bhola showed appu such 50 100 250 and 500 grams weights then he took the scales from Appu and placed a pen on one side of the scale and 100 grams weights on the other side. Both the sides of the scales came to the same level. Kids, do you know what this means? Yes, this means that Bhola's pen weighs 100 grams. Appu became even more excited to learn about measuring weight in grams. He also bought few grams weights from Bhola and happily went to his house. Kids, I have made some pictures here. Can you connect with these pictures? with their right weight with the help of your friends if you want you can pause the video and find the answer wow kids your answer is absolutely correct kids in this video we saw some interesting examples related to use of kilograms